Okay, welcome, 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 as my good friend Jerry says. We're here in the tool shed. It's Thursday, so you know what that means. We're going to talk about all things training with our good friend, and uh, I think we're we're almost Facebook official. Like we're kind of going steady here. Is this is this is it's complicated? Uh, yeah, I'm going with it. it's complicated. <laughs> uh, this uh, show is made possible by the entire team at Schedule Engine and the wonderful people at Emerson who care deeply about the trades and you. And so welcome uh, our good friend Brian uh, from Interplay Learning. Uh, Brian, you've, uh, you spend every day, day in, day out, talking to, to contractors about training and all things training. I'm sure you've seen it all. We appreciate you being here, sharing um, your perspective on, on uh, you know, how the best of the best are doing it. You know, Jerry says, this is the huddle but the game's out there. So we're talking about training, but hopefully you're taking some notes each week. And we, again, I appreciate you uh, being here each week and uh, hopefully you're putting into practice because uh, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't matter what you know, but you, you, you got to put it into practice. So um, last week you, you and I were talking about your best first day. And then we said, well, hold on, we can probably, there's more to that than this. And so this week, like, let's just carry the conversation. We've, we've had our best first day. Let's talk about that training plan and how we make training plans that stick. What are, uh, what are the best doing and, 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 and just how do you go about it? If I remember correctly, you talk a lot about starting with the end in mind. So what, what do you call it? You call that ob learning objectives or outcomes? Right. Yeah. yeah. Uh, what else? Well, we got to make it fun. I, I think uh, that is undervalued. Um, I, I know Jerry talks a lot about this and, and it's, a, it's a fine balance, but you know, uh, people always ask us, well, how do you make it so engaging? And you make it engaging by being engaging and, and having fun, right? Training doesn't have to be... Hey, you know? hey, look, <clears throat> I say this a lot. Buying training doesn't yeah. make technicians better. Technicians training makes technicians better. S say that again, because that's gold. Yeah, you know, just buying training doesn't make your team any better. The technicians have to want to train. They 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 have to be engaged. I think uh, I think one of the things you're hitting on, uh, and, and we really haven't talked about it, is uh, you know there's just some teams that create a learning culture, and they get better. They talk about those measurable outcomes, and they and they do that week in week out. And then there's people that will be at the same company for five years, or they'll be the, a technician for five years, and really they're the same technician. They, they don't they're not they don't have five years experience. They have that what is it that same uh, year five times over. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it, it. I hear that a lot. Of, of. Well, well, that, that, that technician has, is, has been working here forever, right? And unfortunately, they've had year one ten times. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's so true. And I think one of the things that uh, you, you identified early for us is, is this idea of personal responsibility. You know, we talk a lot on Thursdays about organizations, but if I'm an individual technician, I, I, I could be taking stuff and just taking the responsibility on myself, right? Like we don't wait for others to rescue us. So, so let's think about it in this way, right? If, if we leverage Ride Along as, mm -hmm. as our main training model, yeah, sure, right? We're beholden to what that service call is. Right. And it could be the same service call over and over and over again, right? right. They, there's, a, there's a common fault and they're seeing it in We're really every good at system. Changing call tactics. Exactly, <laughs> right? Well, now what we have seen yeah. is that by, again, I talk about did, being digital first sure. and leveraging technology a lot. What we've seen is we, you can have exposure to an entire system, not just what that service call is about. So I can see not only that contactor problem, but an IFR problem or a um, you know HPCO problem, whatever it happens to be, and I can have that exposure and I can practice that exposure. Right on. I'm dangerously close to asking to buy a vowel on that last one, <laughs> but uh, I'd like to solve the riddle, please, Alex. No. Um, all right. So <laughs> no fun in the tool shed. Uh, uh, so you you also talked about early success so if i'm if i'm building a training plan we've got our first day and and jerry talks about you know that person going home and, and i love this and all credit to jerry says you know someone is going to say how was your first day and you know that answer is going to be what that answer is but it's not going to be great by accident right and so but but uh, you talk a lot about finding success early and and being intentional building that into that training plan what what are some of the the, the reasons again for doing that and and some of the ways we can you know be intentional about it like you're saying well 
one thing we have to understand is who, who is learning, okay. and, and, and how do they want to learn. Right. I can tell in, 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 uh, at Interplay, yep. when we look at how we design our content, uh, we use a, uh, a function that we refer to as micro learning. Okay. Now, <clears throat> what we are trying to do is leveraging technology to drive better training outcomes. So we have to understand who we're training, but also how they want to learn. Oh. So with this micro learning, is our videos are five to seven minutes long, and then we're driving engagement through, say, a, a quick test. Okay, so, so here, this is really interesting um, because I think you're getting on something that, that is perhaps, you know, $5 word alert, paradigm shifting. Because, you know, for many of us, and, and, and Jerry and I get this question a lot, it's like, well, it's expensive to, to bring people in. And, and if we bring them in, we're going to make it work and we're going to bring the manufacturer in or someone, and someone's going to read a PowerPoint ads for three hours, and that's okay. Um, and they're trying because because they're you know coming in. But what you're talking about is actually maybe using you know listen if 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 in the last eighteen months you don't know how to use Zoom or Google or FaceTime or whatever, you just weren't paying attention, right? right? So you could you what you're suggesting is we could use that not even bring them in, but maybe start with like a little tech tip of the day, a little eleven minute something like that. Well, yeah, I mean, so so look, the last thing I want in in a training program is. Mm -hmm creating content, a 50 minute video that somebody can press play and go make dinner and come Sorry. back <laughs> and, and, and sit down and bumble their way through a test of, yeah, yeah, I was kind of paying attention, right? That seems to be measuring training by the minute, not by the outcome. And so what we're looking wow. for is having these bite-sized, digestible chunks of information that have just shown to have better recall and better retention and better mm. outcomes. So I love, like, you clearly a power word for you and the way you think about training and I know this is the same for Jerry's it's all about the outcomes like it's good to have fun it's good to bring people together it's good to to go over things but really it's about the outcome you know I was uh, listening to a friend from the military and uh, actually this this was uh, Simon Sinek talks about this in his book Infinite Game he talks about how you know if if the focus is on testing people and just making them set a test and sign the book that they did the 50 minutes um, this one army unit, the, the guy in charge, would just have the smartest cat take the test nine times for, and, and check the box, right? Learning outcome achieved. But what you're talking about is an individual impact for each person based on the way they learn uh, in the manner that best suits them? Well, yeah. I mean, I, I lean heavily on the, on the fabric of, of my company yeah. and, and where, where we are based. I mean, we were founded mission-oriented. How do we create a tool to improve a technician's life, to, uh, to improve their career, to improve their life, right? I, I told you we, we made that shorter, better careers, better lives, right? <sighs> Sitting in a training room for two hours... Uh, and, and not being able to take anything out of that is not going to improve my career. I, I'm writing it down because I, I think, you know, if, uh, if companies are watching, whether you're like two, two, uh, two people getting ready to hire, you know, your first tech or, or you're, you're big, having that clarity around the purpose of training, uh, so it's about the income, but really the outcome is good for the business, but really I know Jerry's going to talk ab about... Um, in a few weeks, he's going to talk about that career ladder and the importance for better career, better life, and, and financially. And, and listen, we spend a lot of time working. We should get better, right? Like, otherwise, you know, what are we really doing here? Hey, look, the more I enjoy my job, yeah. uh, the better I'm going to be at it. it it's that simple, I right? Love it. I love it. So, so um, we start with the end of mind. Uh, we identify level one, level two. Last week you talked about scaffolding. Um, what is level one? And, and if you're struggling with that, just think of someone on your team that does a good job and then jot down five reasons they do a good job. And that's your level one and, and, and work with your team there. Certainly check out resources. Uh, you, the, the training doesn't have to be you know, what it used to be, what two, sh two shoulders and one wrench. Right? Uh, it doesn't have to be somebody coming in and reading a PowerPoint. It could be 10 minute mini hits. It could be micro learning, as you say. But it's all about the uh, better career, better life. And if I'm, if I'm just a technician this morning listening to that, that's something that, you know, I feel like Jerry would almost call that a big rock, right? Like, what am I going to do to 
to have a better life. Right. So now <clears throat> you mentioned something a couple minutes ago and you said how expensive it is to fly people yeah. in, right? Yeah, yeah. So if we think about it in that aspect, right, mm -hmm. it, it is, and, and it is expensive, but there's also very much a, a, a value to that. Mm. What I think about is not the time that goes into that, but the efficiency that goes into that. Mm. So if I am bringing everybody in from Minnesota and Maine and California, yeah. making the most out of that time together, right. right? And the way I, if I were measuring this, would be, is everybody prepared? Right. And now being able to have visibility into, yes, everybody is prepared okay. to show up here. Yep. And, and that time spent together is gonna be super efficient. So, so uh, you know, if, if you're just a, you know, uh, a small local company, even if you're just talking about bringing the people into the shop, what I hear you say is this is, this is part of the blended. Some of it can be done digitally. Some of it uh, can be, you can bring them in and make sure that, uh, do your homework, make sure they're prepared. It doesn't need to be one long three-hour lesson. It could be a bunch of these micro learning opportunities. Absolutely. Now, <clears throat> yeah. you're you're a trainer, right? You've stood in front of a class I'm and you've trained people. So, I mean, if you think about the way you approach a class, yeah. right? The, your first, I don't know, ten minutes. Mm -hmm. You're trying to figure out where the what the lowest common denominator is. Mm. Where is my starting point? Mm. If you know that mm. on minute one, everybody is qualified to start at this point, how much better that training can be, and, and you can start at a point that everybody is going to be engaged and you're not gonna lose anybody along the way. I think we're gonna, we're gonna unpack that um, uh, next time. Uh, uh, my dad used to say, you know, a convoy moves at the speed of the slowest vehicle. And that's not really a dig. We just all know different things about different things. And so when you're starting a new subject or you're introducing a new product, new service, um, there is that, sort of a misalignment of knowledge. And so what you're talking about is preparing everybody so that when you, you do get together, you can, you can hit the ground running. It seems like there's so many opportunities to build a great training plan. Uh, I'm hearing uh, start with the end in mind, uh, consider the audience, consider the type of meeting, be intentional, set good learning milestones for the journey, but, uh, but start uh, uh, from a level playing field and, and maybe use some of the different tools uh, at your disposal. Fair. Yeah, no, I think you got it. All right. So tons, tons, tons to unpack. We're probably going to keep keep going. Uh, we'll, we'll pick this up next week. I think there's so much that we can do. We've got first day. We've talked about that best first day ever. We, we're, we're talking about the whole plan. Let's talk about some of the, some of the other things, uh, like how do we upskill, cross-skill? Uh, what are the big buckets in my company? And so uh, we're, I, we're really grateful you, you're, you're here. You're, uh, you're clearly... Um, really well versed in, in all this training and so hopefully you're finding this this useful i'm really grateful you're here i'm grateful that you're taking control of your destiny and deciding uh how you're going to improve your life better career better life love it thank you to the team at schedule engine thank you to the entire team at emerson and thank you for coming to the tool shed as my friend jerry says be good do good we'll see you out there mm -hmm.